Hi, I'm Thomas Bowles, Prince William County Agricultural Extension Agent. Welcome to our video. A loop is a small magnifying tool used to see small details more closely. It's an inexpensive tool that can help aid in the identification of small objects out in the field. Loops are held using the pointer finger and thumb. I have a string tied through one of my loops and hang it from my neck when I'm outside. This way I am less likely to lose it and it is readily available when I need it. Once I'm done using my loop, I fold it up so that the lens area does not get scratched or damaged. There are also loops that come with a light, which can be handy at nighttime or if you are in the shade. With the item I want to magnify in my left hand, I hold the loop in my right hand and position it until it's touching the end of my eyelashes. I then bring the item up, positioning it until I get the detail and magnification I want all while keeping the loop still. This is a photo of me taking a photo through the loop lens. I place the object that I am interested in on a flat surface. I align my iPhone camera up with the lens of the loop and position the loop until I get the details I want. Then I snap the photo. This can take some practicing and patience. The following pictures are photos I took using the loop in my iPhone camera. The photo on the left was taken using my iPhone in no loop. It doesn't show great detail of the insects I am looking at and trying to identify. The photo on the right is the view using the loop. I positioned my phone's camera so I could take a picture through the loop lens. Here you can see much greater detail of the pea plant aphids and lace swing on a pea plant leaf. In these two photos, I'm using my loop an iPhone camera to take side pictures of the lace wing for more detail to help with identification. This photo shows harlequin eggs using a loop. The photo on the left shows a blade of grass taken with my iPhone camera. I can see some details, but when I use the loop, which is the photo on the right, I can see up close details of the ligule and article of the grass blade. The ligule is absent and the article is clasping and had little hairs that I was not able to see just by looking at the blade of grass with my own eyes. These two features can help me in the identification of this grass. These two photos are the same dandelion seed head. The left photo is using my iPhone in no loop and the right photo is using the loop. You can see much more detail on the right photo. These two photos are the same leaf from a flowering cherry tree. The photo on the left is using my iPhone camera and the photo on the right is the view through the loop. You can see the leaf fination and the leaf margins, which can help aid in the identification of a tree. A loop is a lightweight, compact, handy little tool that you can take with you almost anywhere. Take a loop out and explore the leaves, petals, and stems of the plants in your garden and the blades of grass in the lawn. You may see things that you never knew were there. Did you find a grub in your lawn? You can take a look at the raster pattern, which are the bristles and hairs on the underside of the tip of the abdomen, which can help aid in the identification of the grub. You can take the loop with you when camping, taking a walk in the woods, exploring streams, and looking more closely at macroinvertebrates for identification. This is a great tool for the kids and adults alike. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know. Give us your questions, your comments, and suggestions for other classes and videos. For more information on lawns and gardens, please contact the Extension Hort Help Desk at mastergardener at pwcgov.org. Thanks for watching.